Hello and welcome to the Storm Magic How To video series. Here at Storm Magic, we're producing some training videos for our customers and partners to show how to do certain things in the setup and configuration and general operations of our software products. Those software products being SVSAN, our virtual SAN solution, SVKMS, our key management server for encryption workflows, and ArcVault, our video management surveillance solution. My name is Steve Betterson. I'm a technical pre-sales engineer here at Store Magic, and today I'm going to be continuing on with um, some videos uh, for SV San. And in particular, today we're going to be concentrating on how to restore uh, our virtual storage appliance, how to restore a VSA. And we're going to be looking at that, doing that using the plugin. So there are two ways to restore the VSA. Uh, we can do it via the plugin or via the web GUI of either one of those virtual storage appliances, the one that's actually survived. So. Um, so this is what we're going to be doing. We've got SVSAN on VMware. Um, we, now, why, why would we want to restore a VSA? In most cases, this is when you're, you've perhaps had a complete host failure in your two node cluster and you've had to bring, you know, bring back another host and you then need to restore the VSA onto, onto that host. Um, when that happens, whatever targets you've got are going to be in a degraded state, but our virtual machines or guest VMs are going to continue to run, um, albeit that, that target, those targets are degraded. And as I say, we're going to restore the VSA via the plugin. And then we're going to check that those targets have fully synchronized and you know we have a, a healthy um, system. So we're going to jump out of the, the slides now uh you're familiar with this this environment that i've got two node cluster here um what's happened we've what i've simulated here is is a, a, a host failure i've brought this host back up you can see i've only got one virtual storage appliance there i've got a, a windows 2019 server uh, that's running we've got one vsa that vsa here is this um here and if we look at the targets, you can see they're in a, a degraded state. We we haven't got VSA02; it's completely disappeared, and we're going to restore it. I'll show you how we do that. So, just to sort of go into it a little bit more. So, why would we do a VSA restore? So, this typically happens. You would do this if you had a complete failure of a host, as I've already mentioned. So, when you're creating on creation of a, a mirrored target, if you like, the two VSAs uh, that are managing that target effectively become partners, which means that each virtual storage appliance backs up its configuration automatically on the other VSA. So any changes to the VSA, so VSA1 is backed up on VSA2. So this virtual storage appliance here that we have left VSA01 will have the backup of VSA02 that has, has disappeared. So what we can do is we can restore those. And just just another point to mention as well. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna obviously restore this VSA via the plugin, you can do it via the web GUI. But if you've had to reconfigure the host, um, so if the host has failed and has been completely replaced, the newly deployed host requires the same or better hardware reconfiguring the new host with matching network um, is you know is preferred but if the network if different network port groups exist um, the existing network can be remapped on recovery as well so we're going to go to um, configure tab up here store magic plugin here we're going to go to manage VSAs we're going to select VSA01, okay? And if we click this restore button here, so VSA01 is protecting what we had VSA02. You can see their state failed to receive config. And what we want to do is restore VSA02 back onto our second host. So I'm going to click the restore button here, and this takes us through um, a, a wizard based process. So um, this is my uh, vCenter uh, and I need to pass 
the, the credentials for that vCenter. So um, I'm going to put in administrator. password here next uh, I've just realized uh, that's incorrect should be that so let's, uh, let's do that again that's better uh, I need to then put the, the password for host 2 so again that in I'm going to keep the same. This is the, the correct naming and the, the domain. So SBDNESXI-VSA02 is what I, I want to recover. Um, we're going to recover it and get deployed, deploy it onto the local data store. Now these are the, um, the targets, sorry, the disks, I should say, um, that I need, to, that we passed up originally as raw device mapping. So it's the 200 gig capacity tier and we've got a 20 gig cache. So that all looks good. I'm going to click next. The networking, um, I've got that management network and the two iSCSI interfaces, iSCSI 1, iSCSI 2. Um, could go in and edit this here, um, but going to map the old network to the currently available network. So that looks fine. Click next. I need to put the VSA password in. Click next. And then as it says there, we click finish, the restore VSA task will be queued and then we can watch uh, the progress under the recent task. So we click, click finish there. Let's bring up this window here. This is going to then deploy out the, um, the virtual storage appliance and restore that. So this may take a few minutes. So gonna take a pause back in a, in, a, in a short while okay so you can see now it's completed various tasks on, on the bottom there um, restored uh, yeah, still doing a little bit here store magic restore VSA um, so we'll give that a few more seconds to complete And you can see that the virtual storage appliance is now powering on. So that looks like it's completed all those tasks. Go up to the VSA up here and just see what that's doing um, with the targets here. So what it's actually doing, you can see there, they were in a degraded state and it's, it's just resynchronizing any changes. So this, Again, could take a few minutes to do. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take a pause and wait for that to complete. Bef before we do that, I'll just come back into vCenter here and reset these alarms. We'll go back up to the virtual storage appliance and we'll take a pause until these targets have been resynchronized. But also you can see here our, our Windows 2019 server has been up and running. Um, it's continued to run. It's been up for two days. That was on a degraded target. So it's continued to run. We just need to wait for these uh, targets to to synchronize, to resynchronize. So we'll just wait for that to happen and we'll take a short pause now. Okay, uh, as you can see there, we've got all of our targets synchronized. I uh, just want to highlight uh, this important one here, data one. I didn't perhaps mention it at the start. So data one is this target that um, our Windows 2019 server is sat on. Uh, it's actually on host one there uh, and there it is we showed it there it is currently on I log into it uh, we can see here it's been up and running for quite some time so when we lost our host and we lost the and it was unrecoverable and we lost VSA02 um, 
our storage went into a degraded state, but our virtual machine here, our Windows 2019 server, continued to run, stayed up, um, effectively on the storage on 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 host two, uh, sorry, host one. So everything was up and running. And what we've done is we've we've done a VSA restore. We've restored VSA02 via the plugin um, by going to uh, managing VSAs and we selected VSA01 and we then did the restore and selected um, selected VSA2 here from this information. But everything's healthy. We just click OK here. We've already restored the VSA2 and our systems are now uh, up and running and fully restored. So there's the video. That's how to restore a VSA via the plugin. I hope that's been useful. Uh, you can find all of this information as well in the online documentation about how to restore a VSA. Um, but, uh, as I say, I hope you found that useful. See you again soon. Thank you for watching.